Well, hello everyone, Dylan here. Happy Throwback Thursday, and the rotation leads us to a construction review, and this one's on the uh, three Marvel Global Figure sets from 2012. Uh, and it, all the kind of matching with the three DC ones from last, last Throwback Thursday, of course, but yeah. Oh, sorry. <clears throat> so now, on the front of the boxes, we have the Lego Marvel Super Heroes logo, of course. So, and then picture of each set that comes within, and also the age group set, or I mean, or the set number, name, amount of pieces, and then the Avengers logo, or a gold version of Avengers logo. And since, of course, at this time, 2012 is, of course, the time of when Avengers 1 released, which is so kind of a bit of a tie-in, but not completely, but yeah. And on to the backs of each box, as you can see a, a different build of each uh, figure, of course, and also the combination models that each of them make. And also a little pick of couple of CCBS bones together. And also friction joint for bigger building, of course. And that's about it with the boxes. And on to the instruction manuals. Which same pictures on the front of each box and everything. Of each one, a little comic strip there. And on the back is how to win on the online survey. Then have application and ad for Lego Club. And then add for uh, some of the system sets from the time. And also add of uh, Hero Factory Summer 2012. Breakout Wave 2 sets, whereas since these were out in the spring, and first advertisement for them coming up, and of course, with these sets, kind of advertised these sets as well, so that, and also add for the couple other figures, and also, so the combination models, and the pieces included, of course. So now on to the sets. First up is Iron Man, as you can see, consisting of kind of the usual colors you like you'd often expect for Iron Man in these regular red and gold, of course. Just for that. Like for the lower legs of which have the traditional foot feet pieces, but in red, like we've seen on all versions of Furno. And also those extra large armor pieces, but in red, like we saw in Breakout Furno, of course. And further up of which do you have the like friction joints, like which we've been introduced to at this time. Uh, I was saying with the DC figures as well. 
and then grows her upwards. This is main torso piece, which which kind of the same as all the heroes in most of the sets of Hero Factory Breakout kind of all had, but also the upper piece of which, same as some of the sets from then, but except has the arc reactor core in the center, or which and that's for the arms of which, which have the uh, smaller kind of uh, limb pieces there, living, which I think would be better if they were like a little extended with an armor piece on it, and also if these armor pieces were the smaller, different kinds. But aside from that, at least these would still nice to get extras of in red, of course. And also that add on kind of piece that we've seen since, uh, since Hero Factory 2.0, 3.0. But however, in both those lines, they were usually in metallic gray, but this time in gold. Great to see. There and also great for mocking. And so now, as for the headpiece here, which, as you see, the sculpting done quite well for that, as he does have a nice gold uh, painting to it, and also some nice blue for the eyes, painting in the eyes as well. Kind of will capture Iron Man a bit. It although just doesn't flip open like he's supposed to be, but that's okay. But onto the back side of which, as you can see, it does have the, that Hero Factory 3.0 kind of piece there, or in silver. And also a three long armor piece in gold. And also a couple of CCBS bone pieces that go up and make this large cannon on here. And the, but also nice to see the this uh, chain barrel piece like we saw on uh, Rocket Breakout, of course. But. Although one good thing about this uh, gun turn to which does have that uh, engine shell piece, but in gold, oh, it's great to see, and also nice to use for mocking. And also that little uh, Tetne wheel piece there, but in blue, even though previously on the Joker sets had that in uh, yellow. Translucent yellow, of course. But and of course does have a few lightsaber rods sticking out to that, acting as extra shoot shots from there. But although some are sim some say and I kind of agree is that with this with this gun turn here, kind of makes it look more like War Machine than Iron Man, of course. But although what I would suggest is try and take that off and modify his back with the gold piece on there, then kind of makes it feel more like Iron Man, but yeah. And that's about it with Iron Man. And now on to the Hulk. From first glance, he of course, probably one of the widest of the CCBS figures we've ever had since of all these extra armor bits here. At least until uh, Stormer XL later in the f this year, of course. So for the beat here, this is the same as just the same old uh, Hero Factory CCBS beat, of course, but also those lower limb pieces in lime green, which is still nice to see here, like we've seen with uh, Surge and Toxic Reaper in the first half of 2012, of course, and also do have the CCBS uh, five long armor pieces, but in blue, although I think would have been better in purple since, of course, the Hulk always has uh, purple uh, pants, of course, but even though in his most recent films, or in the, the which didn't, had either blue or tan khakis.
but at least the blue of which is still kind of workable. And as for this chest plate, the lower half of which, same old regular uh, gunmetal great uh, uh, chest plate piece, well, which I think should have been in lime green, of course. It also has this extra white uh, armor piece here, which is actually attached on with two uh, socket joints to it, to those extra two. Of course, this is how you get that to work. But whereas for the chest plate as is, uh, which has plenty of interesting detailing going on there, and a couple of uh, connecting bits to it, which for like, <coughs> which only time that there was ever a connecting bit to it was a uh, Stormer Excel in uh, summer 2012 uh, of Hero Factory, of course. And as for the arms here, which, which still has the, the uh, traditional armor pieces in gunmail gray, but I think still would have been better in lime green, or at least could, or even in regular green, like the Green Lantern figure did. But also, the uh, Savage Planet uh, pot claw pieces, but in lime green, which nice to see. But although, although the bar bits of which are all exposed quite a bit. But of course, you can like add your own finger pieces onto it if you wanted. But then, as for the head part, which of course well captures the Hulk just rightfully. But as for the backside, which you can, as you can see, quite a whole lot of exposed. Uh, CCBS bone pieces going on, but also those uh, one five long armor pieces, but in lime green, like we had with uh, Breeze Breakout and Scorpio, of course. So I guess that's about it with the Hulk. <coughs> and lastly, Captain America. And also it does have, and also the same thing as the Hulk, and also a bit of the Joker as well, with extra CCBS bone pieces added in, of course. So as for the feet of which, just the same exact uh, feet pieces in uh, red like we saw on Iron Man, of course. But as for the upper legs of which, as these only, well, do for the time, uh, add-on kind of pieces, which we later got to see on some of the sets in, uh, in Breakout Wave 2 of Hero Factory later on, of course. But upper part of which have the five long art shell armor pieces in gold, in blue, of course, and also the friction joints like the rest of these figures have. <coughs> okay. And also, as for the chest plate here, which oh, just the same as all, just the regular old uh, CPBS uh, torso piece there. But although, but just in white. But although, would have been great if there were the red stripes printed on to there, since Captain America always has that going on. But whatever. But as for the arms of which, where it's just the uh, red armor piece in hand, of course. But although I think a a three long uh, armor piece in blue should have been on here, of course. But as for this, for the other armor, which is of course holding the important shield, and of course the piece itself, for which 
did get reused a couple of times outside of this set, but without any printing on it. To, of course, and also downsides of how he holds it is like that, of course. But although some people would probably kind of modify it with a couple of technic bits to make him hold it on to the so on sideways like that. Which I'm sure you can do so too, but yeah. But as for the headpiece, which is kind of similar to uh, the Batman build -a figure set, but instead of being used as a cowl, instead as an actual mask piece there. And, but of course have the 8 for America printed on it, and also the uh, eagle uh, wings on the sides as well. Also forgot to mention the chest plate piece, which is in gold with the star in the center, or in blue with the star in the center, which is still kind of nice for that. And it's now with these other uh, bone and armor pieces, and also those savage planet pieces on there is probably to represent his extra armoring around him. And also, unlike with most of these figures, where he actually goes around his arms and on both sides of his back, of course. Also, what would have been nice is if there was an extra armor uh, piece that connected to that one ball joint on there, of course. But yeah. And of course, for the articulation portability of all these figures, uh, quite. Uh, Quite average for these figures, of course, but yeah. And so now, on to the final verdict. So overall, I think these of which are quite good sets for the times, but and of course, only three of the Avengers that we've ever gotten like this, but although just, with just me is, could have at least gotten all the rest of the Avengers as, as well, and maybe even include the Eternals and the Guardians of the Galaxy, or all the rest of Marvel, or as I forgot to mention in my DC one, also would have been nice to get so the rest of the Justice League as well, but yeah. But although with the recent uh, Spider-Man Venom uh, Lego figures that there were made of just system, which there's still a good chance of that, but at least they kind of tried with these CCPS kind of figures, but yeah. Although I think, yeah, like these returning, if these came back in, in system form, at least still would would still be quite workable, but yeah. But although for the time, although for the time of which they were kind of good, at least it got, at least they were also kind of good parts packs for that. And like obviously with Iron Man, a few uh, nice free colors, and also a neat chest plate piece with the Hulk, of course. And also, and also again, parts packs, but at least with for the bone pieces, obviously. But yeah. And so now, if you still have these sets from back in the day, well, I hope you had some good memories of them. And for those of you who have it and still have access to these sets, I'd say definitely pick them up. eBay, Bricklink, Mercari, whatever. And that's about it with this video. Please like, like, comment, share, and subscribe. Thanks for watching.